welcome back to the barbershop all barbershop is open go ahead and have a seat and after we're done with this fat guy in the camera you'll be next he's getting a head shave today and let's get into it we'll go with some Neutrogena again for pre-shave Just to get some slickness on that old dome of his. That soap is really slick. I don't even know if you call it a soap, it's a cream. It has almost no lather to it. Back with a 30 millimeter. I soaked this for an hour today, at least an hour, probably closer to an hour 20 in hot water. I soaked it in this shave mug. And it's still sucking up lather like crazy. And it is not synthetic, it is badger. Look at it. Still a lot of water in that brush. Good God, what a mess. <sighs> this brush is just, it just soaked up all the leather. In a, into a wet brush, you know, and I squeezed it like that, it all just came out as a liquid. Alright. So I have a backup on hand. I have the Neutrogena right here, too. I'll probably use that and get rid of it. Okay, again, we're using the Barrister and a Man Eau de Light. Where's the damn camera? There it is. This has a hazelnut and honey scent with some undertones of orange. And I smell a little bit of coconut in there. So, Leaf Razor, it's Leaf Wednesday with fourth use on a feather blade. I have the feathers out just in case these start to pull and tug I can change them out because these actually have three full shaves and one pass on them if you remember correctly I did the straight shave and then I finished with this And yesterday's face shave, I have to, I will say this, I won't leave it out, and I won't disparage the one touch anymore than I have to. Remember I was saying that I still had a little bit of stubble here and some here, even after four passes and pickups? Well, about an hour or so after the shave, all that disappeared. When my skin relaxed, and this happens sometimes, your skin will relax. And those hairs will recede into your skin when it's relaxed. If your skin's tight, they'll stick up. But after your skin relaxes, they go back into hibern hibern you know, hibernation. And that's where they went. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I don't have that happen to me too often. I found out this was badger because I snipped a strand off of a brush I know is synthetic 
burned it, smelled it, snipped the hair off a, bear, a brush I know is boar, smelled it, snipped, took a hair off of this, which is still shedding because it's new, and they weren't the same. So I took a badger, a brush I know that's badger, and I took a hair off of it and burned it and smelled it, and it smelled exactly the same as this one. Yes, badger and boar do smell different when they burn. Slightly, but they are different. So far, fourth use, these blades are doing fine. <sighs> this brush is aggravating the hell out of me. I use the same amount of soap I always use. And it just sucked it right up. Use this. It has no lather, but it is slick as hell. So that's what we'll use. Yeah, that brush is aggravating the hell out of me. I will figure it out, or I will throw it out. I'm not going to throw it out, but I will figure it out. Sometimes you just get something that just aggravates you and you can't get a grasp on it. I've been arguing with, not arguing, but debating with a neighbor of mine all day. Because she's vaccinated against, you know, and she swears by it. And she thinks she's 100% perfectly safe, doesn't need to wear a mask, doesn't need to do anything. She's perfectly safe. It's like, honey, you are not safe. I said, there's members of Congress that just got caught on tape admitting that masks are nothing but for show right now, but that's beside the point. But I, said, I told her, I, said, I just read an article the other day that 106 people in Massachusetts, our 16th most populous state, 16th, not quite halfway, but you know, not bad, top 16, 106 people who are fully vaccinated, had no under, underlying heart, uh, health problems, got the thing, got, got the 19, and died from it. So if you're out there and you're vaccinated, don't think you're safe. This vaccine does not work. It has been rushed to market. And right now, the whole thing about forcing people to take it is all about, like I said it before, this is all about control. It's about the government controlling your life. It's not about your health. Because if it was about your health, they would come up with a real vaccine because this one ain't working. If 106 people with no underlying health conditions can get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Well, I mean, a lot more have gotten it, but 106 people fully vaccinated can get the get the 19 and die from it. Something is wrong. Right now, they're using the whole damn thing in this country at least to bring back segregation. 
you're vaccinated, you can go over here. If you're uh, not vaccinated, you, you go over here and you can't do this and you can't do that. And you can't do the other thing and you can, you can only do this and you can only do that. That's segregation. That's what this country did to minorities in the 50s. It's wrong. It was wrong then, it's wrong now. Especially when your shit does not work. I'm sorry, but if it worked, I'd be the first one in line for it. But it's not working. It hasn't worked from day one. I mean, if you remember correctly, when it first came out, they said, oh, if you take the vaccine, you can't get it. Well, then they came out with, oh, if, if you take the vaccine, you, you can still get it. You just won't be able to spread it. Oh, and then they came out, and when they found out people that were vaccinated were spreading it, they came out and said, oh, Oh, you can spread it, but um, if you if you do get if you do get 19, the symptoms won't be as bad. I don't know. I think death is pretty bad. Do you remember in the beginning when they were saying that the malaria drug, which was like five dollars a pill, would ease the symptoms of people that did get it? And they came out, no, 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 that's wrong, that's bad information. It wasn't bad information. There was hundreds, if not thousands of doctors saying that that treatment worked. And the reason they were saying no, 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 foul the money. The big pharma did not make a freaking dime off of this disease by selling $5 pills. supposed to be going the other way. I'm yakking. I'm getting out of rant, I know. But this shit pisses me off. People, use your brain. Look at the evidence. Do your research. This vaccine does not work. You were supposed to get a booster shot once a year. Now it's every six months, they're saying. Every six months. Every six months. Give me a break. Give me a flipping break. And this is supposed to go, this will have to go on for the rest of your life because this will never go away. They don't want it to go away. There's too much money to be made off of it. Guys. You ever want to know the answer to something? Follow the money trail, and you will find your truth. Our society is so corrupt. I'm not saying people so much as corporations, but people there are corrupt people. Yes, there are. <laughs> I know that. I got my account hacked into. They stole my uh, debit card number. If you've had the, the vax, fine, that's that's your choice. You do what you want to do. Just understand, you are not safe. Take all your precautions as if you hadn't taken the vax. Stay vigilant. Stay away from people. I'm not going to say wear a mask because those things were useless from the beginning. Because if you're wearing a mask and you can smell a fart through that mask, you can get COVID. Now, YouTube probably won't put this video up because I'm saying bad things about the government and their treatment of this. But I don't care. I'm still saying it. Because the articles are there online to look at. Everything I'm saying is true. I'm not making anything up. It's all out there to be found if you just look for it.
pickup work to do in the back as usual. Pretty good, well, right through here. Sorry I'm ranting guys, but just some people aggravate the hell out of me. Well, the news said this, and the news, this that's what she was telling me. It's like, don't listen to the news. They're just a propaganda arm for the government. It doesn't matter what government, what party's in charge. They're a propaganda arm for the government. It's like people didn't learn from the 1940s Germany? Come on. Or from the Soviet Union? From China today? Everything's propaganda, folks. Do your own research. Look into things yourself. Use your damn brain for something besides to hold your head up so you can wear a hat. Still scraping toast right through here. Jeez, always scraping toast. I can't stop scraping toast. Through here, too. Sorry, I'm going to fix that toast scraping come Sunday, I think. Yeah, that, that's going to be good enough. This is just the midweek, anyways. All right. Anyways, I'm sorry, guys. Didn't mean to go off on you, but it's just. I'm sure you've all dealt with somebody who just aggravates you to no end and it sticks with you the whole day. Yeah, that soap, soap smells okay. I mean, it's, I'm not a big fan of hazelnut, especially in my coffee. Sorry, that's another one of my pet peeves. Coffee's supposed to taste like coffee, not maple syrup, not pumpkin spice, not hazelnut. Coffee's supposed to taste like coffee. Anyways, it made a good lather, and then the more I whipped it, the more it disappeared. It got soaked into that freaking brush. That thing's killing me. We are going to forego Mr. Allen Block today because I did not get close enough to do anything for that. So we will just pop in the regular formula witch hazel. Oh, and my tobacco came in today. Yay! I was down to my last two bowls for my pipe. And Mr. UPS man pulled up. doesn't exactly go with the soap, but I don't care. This thing needs a better restrictor. Actually, it doesn't even have one. <laughs> it needs one. I know a lot of people don't like restrictors, but I do because I'm kind of a slob. When I turn a bottle over to shake out a little bit, when it doesn't have a restrictor, I get half the bottle in my hand. And again, on my head, I always like to use the baby lotion. I had this come in the other day. You won't believe the size of the box this thing came in. I, I could have put 50 of these in the box that it came in. I'm not kidding. I really, literally could have put 50 of them in there, if not more. It was so flippant. I picked up the box when it was dropped on my step. I'm like, what the hell's in here? And I shook it, and it, I could hear it rattling around in the box. It's like, what the hell is this? And I opened the box, and that was in there. I was like, you're kidding me? You could have put that in an envelope and mailed it. All right, guys.
something else coming today, but you won't see that for a little while. <laughs> I keep secrets. Uh, anyways. Dome feels better. Feels a little lighter. Um, we're going to go for shave 5 with those feather blades and see if they work. I had no issues with them on a, on a fourth pass. So we're going to push these things as far as we can till they start pulling and, and dragging. And we'll see how many shaves we can get out of, set of, uh, out of one broken leaf. Or feather in a leaf. A feather in a leaf. Alright all. Take care out there. Sorry about the rant. But hey. That's just me. All right. The fat guy's done. His head is. Eh. You're in the chair. It's your turn. Happy shaves out there, all.